Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds, and uh, this site has been big news in the last couple days in the area because Miller Valentine Gem, the group that was going to develop the fairgrounds into their little scam of more apartments, retail, restaurants, and what they hoped was a grocery store has fell apart. They're they're pulling out of the deal. I did a couple videos on this before. It's been about a year ago or so, but it's been my, you know, belief, and I and you know, and I certainly believe this is true that there just was not enough, you know, investors, you know, to back what they wanted as far as the apartments go, as far as the. The retail goes and Miller Valentine Gem, you know, secured some funding for it and they were trying to scam the taxpayers out of the remaining funded that they needed. I'm at the horse track and the reason why I'm in front of the horse track, I believe this piece of land right here, a few people out riding their horses on the track today I believe the major reason why this deal fell apart well there's a few reasons number one there's just no demand for the stuff that they claim they want to put here so they want to always you know hype up this you know imaginary demand this make-believe more crap for retail housing apartments grocery store just a bunch of just a bunch of stupidity is all it really is and uh and there's just and there just wasn't enough and there's and the people of Dayton just don't have the jobs and the residents to support the kind of development they wanted then of course now they're claiming oh we were never really interested that site in the site in Brookville even though that was their plan all along so I could see this being like the Dayton Arcade, which I'm actually going to cover that in a video here in a little bit. And uh, the Dayton Arcade has came into the, into the news recently. I'm going to... And then the same developer who... Or one of the primary developers that's behind that, that's trying to spearhead that, is trying to scam taxpayer money too. Miller Valentine Gem. So a project that would have been much easier to complete here... Now they're trying for the arcade, something that's a huge, huge money pit. But I believe, you know, you know, they mentioned they mentioned stupid crap like entertainment, apartments, all kinds of other stupidity here that really was never needed here. And uh, so you know, but I believe this plot of land right here the racetrack you know i've heard you know a few people on blogs and social media all mention all downtown dayton you know needs a grocery store i believe if they would have been able to have secured a major grocery retailer here that this project would have ultimately it came forward but they never had any buddy like Kroger's, Myers, or Walmart, you know, actually stepped forward and actually expressed interest. I think originally they were, ultimately they wanted, ultimately they really were hoping Kroger's would step up to the plate, you know, which I've thought, which I've talked about this, I believe, in the last video I did. Kroger's would have been the only store that would have even considered relocating here and if they would have relocated it would have been right here on this plot of land on the fairgrounds <coughs> where the horse track is at that's care flight at miami valley pulling off so you know it clearly would not have been walmart would not have built a store here because just two miles south 
of here. They got the store in Dorothy Lane in Kettering and Moraine, which is only about two miles away. Myers doesn't do urban stores, although they did build a store up in Detroit in the city limits of Detroit. But in other areas, they just don't build in urban areas. They tend to stick to the suburbs, and Myers has not build a new store since the 90s though though they did move the riverside one up to huberites it was really the same location but they were at kroger's would have been the only one that would have even considered it and they're just you know kroger's has a pretty successful store about four or five miles south of here on stroop across from town and country and that was a major reason why I believe Kroger's did not want to, you know, commit to this because, for one thing, there just isn't enough people or jobs down here to support, you know, that kind of full-service retail. And for one thing, Kroger's wasn't going to risk, Kroger's wasn't going to shift their Kettering and Oakwood customers further north of here. And Kroger's in recent years has tended to get away from urban, you know, developments and not put money into urban stores. But anyway, this was nothing but a, you know, attempted taxpayer scam and theft where Miller Valentine John was trying to, you know, siphon the taxpayer money out in hopes that they could develop this because they were trying to close the last $3 million in funding, frankly. If it, if it was such a great idea, they wouldn't have been asking for any taxpayer money. They could have funded it on their own. They could have funded the development on their own. And, you know, and you know, our fair has been here for a really long time, over 100 years. Our fair has no business beat out in Brookville. It's, Dayton is the, is the county seat of Montgomery County. You know, and... I think one of the reasons why they, well, I think there were a couple of reasons why they wanted to move, you know, the fairgrounds. Be, well, there were three. Obviously, besides the obvious stupidity of more greed, you know, with, you know, all a bunch of do-nothing bullshit like apartments, retail, you know, stuff that really doesn't, you know, pay very well. There's already enough of that here because, heck, just a couple blocks over on Brown Street, you got a lot of restaurants, you got a few shops over there. So it wasn't needed, you know? And obviously, and, and also the, the, the property over there on Warren Street, which I've talked about, that was supposed to break ground a few months ago. Nothing's happened with that. And I was speaking with a couple people who found, who found that funny, so... This could turn into something like the arcade where, you know, where the arcade, it comes in the news every two to four years, all somebody's going to buy it and, you know, redevelop it and nothing happens with it. Then it just goes away for about two to four years before you hear anything else about it. You know, that could, you know, potentially happen here. I don't know, but I think the other reason why they were wanting to get the fairgrounds away too is because they did not like, you know, the last several years, they've had several incidents with, you know, youth fighting and fights and a couple of assaults that have taken place at the fairgrounds. And of course, because this is one of the few areas in the city where they've actually put any money in, so they're... You know, I think wanted to try and, you know, get this out away from their so-called ritzy area. Because, you know, they have had some success with the area near Miami Valley Hospital and UD, which is where I'm near right now. So, you know, I think it was kind of an attempt to kind of, you know, drive crime out. And maybe it also could have been an attempt to, you know, try and make our, by making our fair more rule by put it in Brookville like they were talking about which it don't look like that's going to happen now at least they claim it's not going to in hopes that they could you know have a fair you know more on terms with 
what they would have in Dart County or Mercer or Shelby County, the rural counties of the Miami Valley. Montgomery County is too urbanized to have that to have that kind of you know fair you know here to begin with so ultimately the taxpayers have ultimately won a battle you know and those of you that were dumb enough to believe that this is good for the city well think about it this much why is it good for the city when 90 percent of the city is suffering while on the two or three areas of the city you know get any kind of attempted development you know so you know please make sure you say no to anybody that attempts to use taxpayer money to develop the site say leave our fair site alone our fair has been here for a long time it has no business being moved say no to these damn crooks and get their hands out of the damn cookie jar per se because it doesn't belong in it. So, I will update this story as major stories, you know, break on this. But I think ultimately they're just hoping the story goes away quietly. Because the news has been making a big deal out of it. Because ultimately, Dayton Daily News, Channel 7, and the other media outlets, they have a vested interest... And seeing this, you know, get developed or trying to make the area nice. And it just, and their attempts have fell flat on their face. So, you know, let's focus on bringing back major employers that actually bring, you know, good jobs. Then maybe if they ever want to, you know, try and move this fair, you know, with worthwhile employers instead of stupid shit like retail apartments grocery store entertainment venues which all that's already very close by focus on bringing a major employer and if anybody's going to buy it if anybody's going to redevelop this it should be miami valley miami valley should extend a big wing of their hospital right over here you know all these do nothing jobs and these do nothing developments and all these taxpayer scams and thefts just are not working. And, and it's time that we stand up and say, listen, put stuff in there that we need. Because why does a city that has countless retail and housing vacancies need more housing units and retail units? But anyway, you know, so it's nice to actually report on some positive news. I consider this positive news from the standpoint of Miller Valentine Gem did not win this battle, but the war may not have been lost because I'm sure some other hack's gonna potentially try something here, but good luck with that. So, you know, say no to our money being used for this and make Miller Valentine Gem refund that $18 million that they were awarded for this, but that's it for this one.